In the head-to-head -head series of lectures, I show you two different patients with two different diseases, and you try to figure out which patient has what disease. The topic today is Waldire's ring. Here's patient one. You can see that there is enlargement of the palatine tonsils bilaterally. I'll go ahead and tell you that this is true throughout Waldire's ring, not just the palatine tonsils, but also the lingual tonsils and the adenoids. Those are the elements of Waldire's ring. So that's patient one. Here's patient number two. Once again, we can see enlargement of the palatine tonsils. But again, I'll tell you that there is involvement of the entirety of Waldire's ring, just like in the last patient. Here they are side by side, patient one and patient two. This would be a good time to pause the video and see if you can figure out what the diagnosis is on patient one and on patient two. Okay, let's talk about the findings. Here we're seeing uniform symmetric enlargement of the palatine tonsils. So large, they're almost touching in the center. And on the other side, we see uniform enlargement of the palatine tonsils. Not quite as big, but pretty close. I can't tell these two patients apart. Even as I look at them now, I have trouble remembering which one of them has which diagnosis. So I'll go ahead and reveal it. This patient has lymphoma involving Waldire's ring. This patient has an upper respiratory infection that's gonna get better all on its own. There is no way to tell these apart. They look identical. This is a problem because when patients get imaged for an upper respiratory infection, we have to concede that there are other less common diagnoses that still need to be considered clinically, including lymphoma and HIV. Unfortunately, patients who get unnecessary images for a presumed upper respiratory infection get drawn into a vortex of further examinations until we can convince ourselves that this is going to go away. Usually the way that I dictate this is to say this most likely represents an upper respiratory infection but should be followed to resolution clinically to ensure that there's no underlying infection such as HIV or neoplasm such as lymphoma. That's the safest way to proceed with these patients because you really can't tell.